I made a huge mistake, guys, and you want to know what that mistake is. Well, I totally underestimated Beto as an Electromain DPS. Yeah. If you take Beto and you compare her with Sino and Raiden Shogun, you have C0 Sino and C0 Raiden Shogun with free to play weapon. A C6 Beto, okay, a free to play C6 Beto will every single time out DPS Raiden Shogun and Sino. Yes, you heard it right. And you may be questioning me, okay, how is that even possible? She's a four star character, but hey guys. Um, let me tell you what we have been doing wrong with Beto for a very long time. Not because we wanted to, but because we just didn't know much. And we didn't understand how strong Beto is actually with the Dendro teams. The first round with Red and Shogun inside of this domain. Um, I'll see like how fast I can finish this uh, with... Uh... Okay, looking great. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, good. Okay, it didn't do the crit. Oh, no, 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 don't freeze me, don't freeze me. Okay, almost uh, 34 seconds. That's okay, that's that's really fast. I was not expecting it to be that quick. One of the strongest teams that I found with Beto is Beto with Nahida and with the officials. So you put three of these characters with each other. They're an absolute destruction. Like, I'm not joking. So this domain basically took me how much seconds? Um, 34 seconds to clear with Beto and I just used my basic facial. And you may be thinking why I'm doing this domain well because I have a terrible luck with artifacts in this domain and I can just wish that I get some artifacts that I need from here. I need a crit headpiece, crit rate or crit damage or anything of this artifact set. I hope if you like this character you get really skilled with her because I 100% think she's very 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 strong as a character. This is not her entire kit by the way, this is only the beginning. You can literally go and do Beto's burst and replace Beto with some other character. You're still gonna use the, all the kit of Beto. The only problem is gonna be to get a lot of energy for herself. I mean uh, for, for Beto to get energy for herself you have to keep her on the field for most of the time and get all the energy particles that you get from the enemy when you are keeping her on the field. Yeah, like means like she's supposed to get all the particles, tender particles, electro particles. You don't you don't need any energy recharge for beta. You can have zero energy recharge and you will still have her burst ready and every single rotation that you go and do. Of course, you will be using Nahida and Fischl. I think like these two characters are super important. By the way, I'm not using any Favonius weapon on any of my characters. So how do you build your uh, super freaking awesome beta? Okay, so first thing first, definitely you will be using an attack weapon. You do not need to use any elemental mastery weapons because it's just not needed. Artifacts wise, you're okay with artifact bonus elemental mastery. You do not have to particularly go and equip uh, elemental mastery stance. You're okay with attack percentage that's what you have to use uh electro damage bonus goblet uh crit rate or crit damage like whatever you need because it depends on the composition of artifacts how you use them constellation my beto is c6 that's how you want to use your beto talent wise nothing in this and 12 12 we're gonna go and do some um i stare at your face contest i started back when i made this first video so you have to stare at your enemies for a couple of seconds and then uh, they will attack at you okay so look at these guys they are gonna be an excellent okay Wait for him to attack you. Not that one, the other one. Wait for him to attack you. Okay, that was the full count. Wait, I'm healing myself. Okay. <laughs> His attack went inside the stone. All right, so the key again. Uh, it was not ready. So you have to hit her E skill as soon as your enemy's attack is about to hit you. That, just like that. That's, that's how you do the full counter. You, you, it's much easier to actually, uh, you know, Go and see when the attack is coming so that you can time it properly. And uh, you need to be able to do this every single time if you see an attack coming. And that's how you actually go and, uh, you know, master how you go and do the uh, full counter. She has 36% damage reduction. As you level this up, the damage reduction will go up. But I think like 37 is the cap. So I'm going to go and do her burst. Okay. And I'm going to switch the character. So she gives the character a little bit of shield and... Uh, on top of that, the damage reduction, you saw like 1286 uh, and with the damage reduction, she took 800 something. Yeah, so uh, that, that was pretty fantastic. Yeah, that, that was pretty fantastic. And she can absorb all the damage uh, j just from her E skill. And uh, I think that's pretty fantastic. Makes her very ideal for lots of uh, stronger enemies. What Beto lacks the most uh, in comparison to all the other DPS. Okay, so let's say if you want to attack an enemy, yeah? You cannot just, you know, stand like this and hit the enemy. That's not how it works. 
Okay, if the attack is coming, you can actually counter pretty much all the attack that your enemy can go and throw it on you. Uh, that was not the plan, but hey, enemies like Mago Kenki is pretty much going to be her ideal type of enemy. Okay, 61,000, I believe. Of course, I cannot take the, uh, the boss on in just one hit, but I can actually do this all day. There's no need. I'm never going to take damage from these guys. Yeah, because I know their attack pattern and I'll just use my E skill. Watch this. Watch this. I'm going to stand here. There's no need for me to go anywhere. I'll never take any damage from any of these enemies. Oh, I totally did it wrong. Yeah. No, no, no. Wrong character. <laughs> okay. Of course, Spiral Abyss is definitely one of the best places where you can take advantage of all her kid because there are lots of enemies who will attack you. And boom, you will be taking advantage of all the enemies one after another. You never have to worry about anything. Um, you, you can totally go and decide to start using Beidou. I think like the artifacts that I'm using is pretty much the worst artifacts that you can go and use on her. I'm not saying stats wise, but also the two piece bonus and stuff. Yeah, you definitely want to be using a uh, four piece. Uh, where did it go? Four piece gilded. Four piece gilded dreams. I do not have this artifact. I have uh, this. I have this. Uh, this and uh, the flower, and I have sands. But I do not have any goblet or headpiece that I can put on my Beto. So that's the reason why I'm not using this artifact set. Yes. So yeah, she's very strong with gender teams, and uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it.